You know, I've had a really, really tough month for the past couple of months. Back and back to back matches against Sectic. And then one of them matches landed me an opportunity to face for the United States Championship. A title that was held by two members of the BLM before me. The great Sean Black and the legend himself, the Shepherd. So, with that being said, the Shepherd dropped the United States Championship, which left us nobody to do it for America. But just like I said earlier, back-to-back -back back -to -back matches against this man named Sectic. Next thing you know, I landed myself an opportunity for United States Championship at the Elimination Chamber. So with that being said, I got up and I started training. And uh, Mr. Training, my manager, the former United States Champion, the Shepherd Troy Anderson, he showed up at the gym and he told me, Drug Lord, this is your time. You can do this for America. Bring the United States Championship back to the BLM. Bring the United States Championship back to the black locker room. And you wanna know what I did? Y'all wanna know what I did? I walked into the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and I walked out with the United States Championship. And now I'm the one doing it for America. I am your new United States Champion. This was a title that I didn't even think I could win. But then, as I'm getting praised by everybody, everybody who thought I couldn't do it, it's one person, it's one person who decided not to congratulate me. But instead, he wants to make excuses on why he's coming back from retirement or some shit like that. Sean Black, you're not coming back from retirement because you don't like the new United States Championship. No, nigga, you coming back out of retirement because you starting to realize that nobody in TWF gave a fuck that you even retired in the first damn place because nobody really wanted you here. It, it breaks my heart, Sean, bro, because even though I fucked over the Street Kings because I, I was never ready to become a tag team champion. I wasn't even ready for tag team matches. I told you this shit months and months before I was not ready. You should go find a new tag team partner who's not who's not gonna hold you down, who you're not gonna have to carry in that ring. But what did you do? You decided to stick with me because you thought you was Mr. Big Bad. That's what the fuck you thought. Now look at you, you look stupid, titleless, and now, now that everybody has already moved on from Sean Black, Shiny G, right before we was able to erase your whole profile off the TW, the uh, TWF site, you want to make a brand stinking return and somehow you earned yourself a United States Championship match at Mania. All you're looking for is an easy win and an easy title and you think you can get that shit from me. But I'm going to let you know this right now, Sean. I'm not that same motherfucker you used to know. It's true, I fucked us over with the Street Kings when we had to face the Shepherd and Nate Stellman. I, it's true, I fucked us over on that. And you had every right to bring up the tag team. But it is a different story when I'm out there on my own. You see, when I'm with a tag team or a faction or something like that and I got to work with people, I get real nervous and I start to panic because at this point, I know if I lose, I'm not just fucking myself over. I'm fucking everybody else over around me. But now it's just... It's just me now. I can be as ruthless. I can be as reckless. And I can be as stupid as I want to be. And you know, and you know, Sean, even though I may be one of the dumbest niggas that ever stepped foot inside that ring, I'm one of the dumbest niggas to ever become champion. I'm one of them dumb niggas who dropped you and the icon tank back at TCF. So with that being said, bro, I heard your promo. I don't give a fuck how much you disrespect me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what no one else in that locker room say. This all I'm gonna say to you, Mr. Black. At WrestleMania, you're gonna you're going one on one with the drug lord, and I'm gonna show you just how much I can do this for America. I'm gonna show you that I am no longer the one of them paper champions. I'm gonna show you I'm not a local talent, and. God forbids if I lose my United States Championship at Mania, 
you need to know one thing. If you gain that United States title, you're not going to get that shit easily. I'm going to make you sweat. I'm going to make you shake. I'm going to make you do everything in the book. So at Mania, I hope you're ready. Because now, I'm not only coming to Mania to try to prove myself that I could become a champion and retain my title. I'm coming to Mania to prove it to your bitch ass. And I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. And the moment I win and retain my United States Championship, Sean Black, you can leave TWF and never show your black ass face on the fucking roster again.